Jay Drone here. This is the Space Key DC014. And uh, this has a 720p camera, but we're not testing the camera right now. We're going to test flyability. This is the first flight. I've not looked at the instructions. And again, the reason I do that, guys, is because I'm sure when you buy a drone and it comes in the mail, you want to rip it out of the package and you want to go. So if you're watching my review, you can see what will happen if you do that. Or you can watch my review, see me screw up and see me fix it. And if it's easy to fix without reading the instructions, because again, I have not read the instructions. We're going to turn this on, I think by this button. Yes, we got uh, greens and reds in the back. They're, they're catching on. Reds in the back should be standard in drone world. Um, and then we have a blue little LED there. We're going to turn this on just by the green one. Bam. Seems like it's self-bound. We'll go up and down. No, nope, don't have to go up and down. Seems like it's self-bound. Let's see if down and out will start the motors. Down and out will start the motors. Let's see if holding down will shut them down. Holding down will shut them down. This controller is labeled pretty well. You have your trims over here, trims over here. You have takeoff and landing here. You have headless mode here. And you also have one key return back. So if we go out and press that, it'll it won't return back to here, but it'll return back to a base setting, which we'll test that. Um, and then we have our speed and stunt button right here. Um, so let's see. Three speed rates if you just press it. I'm assuming if you hold this then, up, down, left, or right will do your flips. But we'll check that out. So let's try the one key takeoff and landing. Which is not working. Double tap, nope, nope, maybe it's just for landing. It says takeoff, so we're gonna go ahead and fire the motors like this. And, or maybe the motors have to be fired. Bam, we're learning, we're learning. So the mo motors have to be fired to use that one key takeoff and landing. Um, first speed setting. I'm mildly impressed. Uh, there's a little look at the all rate. And what am I impressed by? The pitching. See the pitching? We actually have some pitch. Uh, rocking horse, we can't quite do right here. There's your yaw. It's mildly impressive. Uh, let's go ahead and kick it up a notch. We are in the second one now. And this does have a 7.4 volt battery in it, which is also surprising. This is a good flyer. This is a really good flyer. And that's just off the bat, guys. We're not even in the third speed setting yet. Uh, we might have to go upfield so I have some distance on me, which I guess that's what we'll do. While we're going up there, I'm going to hold the speed button. Bam. I held that speed button and it went and uh, th then you go up, down, left, or right and it'll go into those flips. And the reason I'm going up here is because this seems like it can fly so we might as well fly it. I thought maybe it was going to be another small drone that was going to have limited capabilities in flight. Thus the reason I started down there. So we're just going to take this downfield a little bit. It's down there, that's good range. It's getting good range for a small drone. <laughs> okay, so it came back really quick. You're gonna have to give yourself a second or two. I'm actually, I'm gonna say three seconds. You're gonna have to give yourself three seconds as this comes back to you and you press forward to kind of put on the brakes for it to actually stop. We're still only in the second speed setting. There's a little look at some funneling. We're gonna go ahead and put in the third speed setting. Now we are in the third speed setting. There's a little look at your yaw in the third speed setting. This thing can fly. This thing has passed the flyability test already. <laughs> I, did, I barely needed to fly it. The only complaint that I'm gonna say is uh, it does not stop on a dime. Uh, it has so much momentum on it and the motors are so small that they're not able to compensate stopping on a dime. So I'm gonna come forward and we're gonna press backwards. You see it's still drifting forward. It's gonna take a minute before it stops. So just be aware of that if you're trying to fly this in close quarters and maybe maybe you wanna do a straight burn like I just did. Um, it is altitude hold. Uh, the altitude hold seems to be working well. It's sitting there nicely. I'm 
dealing with a little bit of wind coming this way, but nothing bad. Maybe like a two to three mile an hour wind. And we're gonna throw the brakes on, try to, ah, get out of the sun, let's get out of the sun. Try to give you a good look at this and just raise up here. Try to give you a really good look at this drone. Let's go this way. Loving the color on it too. So, flyability is a pass. Flyability is a huge pass. The next thing we will have to do is test, uh, we'll have to test the camera and the app. And uh, we definitely will do that. This drone has my interest. <laughs> it really does. And for such a small drone, they usually don't. Um, they usually don't hold my interest or pique my interest too, too heavily. Um, and this is a foldable drone. This is one of those selfie foldable drones. Like the, what was it? Hmm. There was a pink one, there was a black one. JJRC made it, the Elfie drones, which were okay drones. They were okay drones, but just not my bag at sea. They, they were only app, app controlled. They didn't come with a controller. And um, dude, this one has a controller. Altitude holds working nicely. It has pitching. And again, there's the buzz past yourself and the brakes not going on right away, which I'm fine with that. Uh, it looks like, uh, yes, absolutely. These are brush motors, but they are direct feed brush motors. So maybe that's what's giving this a little bit of pep. Super cool little drone, absolutely. Not gonna lie, I thought this was gonna be another Elfie drone where it's like, eh, okay, it flies, it takes pictures, it's okay. Um, but dude, two cell battery, 7.4 volt battery in this, and this thing's flying like a champ. I'm gonna try to get it to sit there. Let's see, we are going to go this way. And hold on, there we go, there we go. There's not altitude, or it is altitude hold. There is not GPS on it. There is also not optical flow positioning on it. Um, optical flow positioning on this would have been king. Would have absolutely been king. Damn, that should have been a good look for you guys. So yeah, this thing's cool. I'm I'm signing off on it already. <laughs> Regardless if the camera's junk or not, this is a fun flyer. But I'm assuming by the looks of the camera, it's not a pinhole camera. Um, we'll try to bring it over here so you guys can see it. It is probably going to be a true 720. Let's see. Bringing it in, bring it in, throw the brakes on, throw the brakes on. There's a little look at that camera that I'm ta telling you about. There's actually a lens and an eye on that camera as opposed to a pinhole like uh, like we see a lot with uh, Hubson H107Cs and most, most of your toy grades are gonna have a pinhole on it, pinhole type camera. So I'm really interested to see what type of footage will come off of this. The only thing that I'm not happy about, especially now that I like the way that it flies, no SD card slot, no SD card slot. Uh, that was one of the biggest fails for the Tello was that there was no SD card on it um, this, that might be a fail unless the connectivity to the app is actually great. If the connectivity to the app is great, then uh, I can deal with that. Hear that? We got an LVC on the controller. We got an LVC on the controller on a toy gray drone. Um, I've only came across that on maybe like two or three other drones. We're gonna keep flying it here though, that way you guys can see what will happen if you decide to ignore that LVC and uh, see if it's gonna just drop. Maybe it'll shoot straight back up. Nope, it's dropping. Bam, so. Dropped, killed the motors. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you have not subscribed, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns down below. And again, there's a little look at that camera. I'm uh, really excited to uh, test out that camera on here now that I know this actually flies and it flies well. All right, guys, later.